Wow. Oh my god. What? It's closing out. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh look at the inside one. Here's the deal. I'm at JFK Airport. We're going to Namibia. Remember? I told you last episode. I was going to Namibia. My knee felt good. Got one session in. Yeah, let's go to Namibia. No, but uh, my knee really did feel great and it was good to get back to surfing and I haven't experienced any pain. And this one swell has popped up and it's the only chance that I have for the 2019 to go to Namibia. So Rob Brown hit me up, told me he was watching it. Him and I went back and forth for days and finally decided to pull the trigger and we're going. And I didn't film anything prior to this because yesterday was psychotic. Woke up, wasn't even thinking of leaving today, Friday. Was good. We were maybe gonna leave Saturday. And around 11 a.m., my family was at the beach. I was doing some computer work and Rob and I were like, we need to go tomorrow. So we went into trying to book a truck, and flights, place to stay. I had stuff I had to tie up at home and then get packed. And I literally finished packing at like 10.15, took a shower and was out the door from my house at 10.35 at night. Met Rob at Raleigh Airport. I drove overnight from 10.30 to 2.30, got to the airport, checked in, slept an hour on the flight to JFK, and now we're going to Namibia. So it's looking like it's gonna be pretty good. Here we go. the weirdest part about vlogging is holding the camera in the airport. <laughs> yeah, here we go, man. For whatever reason, every time I come down this little t uh, jetway, I film something. It must oh, just yeah. be like a cinematic walkway. Here we go. Yeah. not come look at the waves because there's actually some swell in the forecast for today. It is technically breaking. That wave right there in the background is probably like in the waist to stomach high range. The thing about Skeleton Bay is it has to be like a certain size to be makeable. For the most part, it's too fast in sectioning. You need it to have some size to be good, but we just wanted to come check it out. The four wheel drive we rented is kind of sus. Oh, look at this one. The four wheel drive we rented was kind of suspect as far as clearance and stuff, so we wanted to do a little test run. You know, we don't want to be driving out here for the first time when there's waves and like get stuck or something, but we're cruising. We're gonna go eat dinner and uh, yeah, save it. Let our bodies heal up. We're both absolutely whooped and it gets dark here soon, so. It's not missing anything, but it feels so good to just be back out here on the point looking at the waves. It's pretty rad. Oh, time for food and sleep. What's up, man? What's happening, man? How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Welcome back, hi. That's helped me. Down. <laughs> yes. yes. All right, we'll just follow you. <laughs> We're gonna go rescue some seals. I'll catch y'all up after we do that. So yeah, 
How big is the population of the seals here? This colony itself is about 60,000. 60,000? But in Namibia we've got about 2 million. So this, is, this area is much worse for entanglements. We've done some surveys in the other areas and there aren't as many entanglements there. That's just because we're right in the harbour here, that's right. the problem. I'm going to let her pull until she sort of sees me and then she's going to run. I'm going to chase her down, get the net over her. And once she's restrained, um, Rob will come and help me hold her down. And I'm going to then uh, try and open the zip and try and cut the net. Oh my gosh, oh, that's so bad. The, knot, the line is cut. Can't open this up to let her out. She will take my arm off. So I'm going to cut the line as short as I can. The idea is now that there's not that constant tension. Hopefully the rest fall. of the line will fall, fall out. out. They are strong. They are so, so strong. This is awesome this week. Just these, all these bundles of line, hard hat, shopping bag, fishing line, rope. That's just in the last few days. So through my video, some guy from uh, California saw what I was doing and sent me a net. So Which helps, because normally we can only catch seals that like... We're smaller. Really small, so now like you'd never tackle a guy like that by hand. He would rip your arms or your legs off your body. Really? But with the net you can now. Like obviously you run the kayak tours and then you're hanging out around here and see the seals. So I see them, so at the moment it's bad, like, and say at the moment we're getting like four or five a day. These now are probably in about 120 for the year so far. Oh, wow. And uh, last year was about 300. Obviously you guys started posting stuff on your, yeah. inst on your socials. Is, was that to like raise awareness That's or just to like thing. share? Yeah, sort of, I posted the first one just because I hadn't put anything on for a while and it really took off surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, a couple did. of like big shares and uh, so now we're using this as a voice we're in the process now of setting up our own NGO to create awareness basically targeting mainly fishing uh, fishing waste uh, lines nets things like that and just general ocean awareness so yeah awareness is for people to you know follow along or or learn and stuff is Instagrams and stuff the best or is there for now someone yeah, that because this is something I've, I've just it's only a very recent progression that I've realized like this is actually giving me a voice now to, to be yeah. heard so uh, it's all caught me a bit off guard so the process is now is how to evolve this this whole thing and right. how we can use this to our benefit so that's awareness. awesome that's cool thanks for letting us check it out yeah, cool, man. thank you that's epic Absolutely. Oh, whooped. So, that was so rad that we got to go meet up with Nadia and check out what they do in rescuing those seals. If you guys could go and check out their Instagram links, I left them in the description. You can give them a follow and, and keep up to date with what's going on. And like Nadia said, he's, he's just working on figuring out how other people can help. And I'm just psyched that we got to go out there and see what they do. Now it is time to rest. And then tomorrow, it's just gonna be, we're, we're gonna have to go find a grocery store. Nah, I'm good. I'm fine, like the best one. Stock up because the wave is well out of the way. So you have to take enough food out there to last you all day. It's time to get prepared, prepared for battle. Get everything packed up so that early, early in the morning, we can hop in the car, and drive out there. It's a good little drive, so I'm excited. So since tomorrow is gonna just be hanging out and resting and getting ready. I'll see you guys in the morning on the day we've all been waiting for. Well, I lied, it's not morning time. This is actually the evening 
before the storm. And this afternoon we were like, hey, let's just drive out and see if anything shows up tonight. It's not supposed to, but as you can see, there's some little waves. It's like knee high, but we're here. Oh, oh, and the sand looks nice. That just got me so excited. It's so small, but just to see it breaking, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna actually hop out on a board and warm up. I haven't surfed since last time I saw you guys at home. Not even barely, it's tiny. But I personally need a nice little warm up, some rejuvenation before things get hectic the next 48 hours. Wow, look at this set. Oh my gosh. Look at this inside section. It's the morning of the day we've been waiting for. I did actually surf last night just to like stand up on my board. And that gave me such peace of mind just to like get up and pump and get moving, get my cardio going and feel my knee, which felt fine. Anyway, now Rob and I got all our boards packed up, food for the day, everything we need. We just gotta get out there. And it's a bit of a trek, so we're gonna go ahead and start. It gets late at seven, so the hope is that we're there before it gets late. Time to see what the first look is. Well, Rob and I are officially the first ones out at Skeleton Bay today. We can see the tide has washed up a little here overnight, so the swell has picked up. Not really sure how big, can't see anything. It's not solid yet, but it's supposed to get pretty big through the day, so. Ah, we're here, we made it, we got all our gear. Oh man, it's time to have a, a good time. Stoked. I'm gonna go sit in the car and warm up. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at it in their headlights. Oh, <laughs> here comes the cavalry. <laughs> Everyone's starting to arrive. There's a little bit of light in the sky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's uh, not big enough to make, but look how pretty it is. That's the first real set, whoa. Yeah. I'm out, well, I'm going out. Rob's out there. <laughs> How long you been in your suit already? <laughs> First thing this morning, I made my coffee in my suit. Oh, oh this guy's too deep. This guy's in the spot! Oh my gosh! Look at this one! Oh! Oh my god, dude. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, they're like, this is what's happening out here. <laughs> here we go. What's up, Frank? Hey, good to see you too, man. Man, it's cold, dude. It is kind of chilly, huh? <laughs> well, it's officially on. Um, it's pretty section y. Unfortunately, the, the way the swell's coming in, it's just building swell and it's, it's not groomed. It's real. You know, inconsistent, it, it goes flat and then there's a bomb set, but it's it's jumped up so fast since sunrise. And Rob just paddled out. We've seen a couple solid sets that had a good makeable corner. So I think I'm gonna suit up and get ready. But yeah, I'm gonna take my time because it's gonna only get bigger and bigger and bigger all day. And then we got tomorrow hopefully. So I'm not gonna spin myself on, like there we haven't seen a wave that went like through the point yet. Pretty much everyone has been taking off and not making them, so. I'm just pacing myself, and but it's time to suit up and go. Welcome back to the Skeleton Bay. We're out there.
here we are. Not setting expectations. I'm here to have fun and enjoy this. I put a lot of stress on myself about my cameras working and trying to perform and you know get the best wave out here, but I'm at Skeleton Bay. I'm just gonna have fun. Let's do this. back wasn't long didn't make the second section but that first section felt amazing just feels good to be back and at it my knees okay and oh very happy
Absolutely torched. This is the first break I've taken today. It's two o'clock. I've been going since eight. I've just drank some water and I've been powering it out because it, it just kept getting better and bigger. There's some crazy waves coming in, but I'm stoked. I got one big one. It wasn't the longest bra I've had here, but it was the tallest. I got one really long 15 second drainer that I didn't think I was gonna make. So I'm through the roof, I'm stoked. Plus some other fun ones. But now, it's time to eat, rehydrate, get back to sending it. You know, just eating an avocado like an apple. Peeled it, sprinkled some salt on it. Good. Look at the inside bit. <laughs> just took a break for like an hour and 20. It is straight up bombing. Pretty sure this is the biggest I've seen it. Bigger than two years ago. Time to go try again. Oh my gosh, look at this wave. It's like a perfect wave, but where would you have gotten into it? There was like no entry. Yeah, no, yeah, no one around. Oh, wish me Just luck. piping the whole way.
GoPro was on the settings, I was worried you didn't film it. <laughs> Wow. What? It's that? closing out. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look at the inside one. Psycho! Oh, 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 oh. What is happening? What is Dude, where were you? I thought this is your wave. You're like supposed to be on this. Bro, I am freaking right here. <laughs> no. I was too tired, man. I my whole body started cramping. I That's what, I my last paddle out, I shut down. And then one of those sets came in, not that big, but I was in that situation over there and I was like, honestly, a little scared. I felt like my, my legs were cramping and my arms were cramping. I was like, if I fall right now, like, could, be kind of early. So yeah. I, I go That's what my last paddle out, I got out there and my body just shut down yeah. and a wave came and I was like, yeah, I, I just let I it go. Really I paddled go. over. Yeah. Rob said it was like eating itself. So I was like, well, it's a good thing I didn't try. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this one. Hey, uh, good, good job day. today, dude. Good day. That was amazing. You're gnarly. It was so amazing. <laughs> so stoked. We survived. That's a wrap. Day one in Namibia. My mind is absolutely blown at the waves I saw today. Like, that was psychotic. My last paddle out, I got out there, and my body just shut down, and a psycho wave came, and I just let it go by. Although Rob told me he saw it and he's like, there's no way you would have made it. But in my mind, I was like, if I had energy, I'd try. But I was just like, you know what? We got tomorrow. Wait, did I say we got tomorrow? Yeah, we got tomorrow. We just saw a straight up closeout set break way out in the bay and wash through the, it's huge. So it's gonna be on in the morning. Time to go eat dinner, get some sleep, try and regroup before tomorrow. Oh, oh man, what a day. That was a special one. Saw some just 
mind-bending waves. Caught the biggest tube I've ever had here. Got one 15 second one. Watched so many guys get so many psycho waves. This place is so special. Jeez. Is that even rideable?